Hi and welcome to Destination Michigan, where we explore the beauty, creativity, and destinations in our Great Lakes state. Tonight we're going to meet some outstanding Michiganders, and we'll travel across the mitten to visit the communities that make Michigan unique. Well, next we're stopping at Michigan's oldest working woolen mill, located in the heart of Frankenmuth. At the bottom of the hill on Main Street in downtown Frankenmuth, you'll find a building that's been standing strong for over 120 years. The Frankenmuth Woolen Mill was started in 1894 to serve the local community's sheep farmers. Dirty wool was cleaned and processed to make mittens and hats to keep Michiganders warm through the winter. During World War I, the Woolen Mill was rewarded a government contract to knit 66,000 pairs of socks for the doughboys in Europe, putting the business on the map and becoming Frankenmuth's largest employer at the time. Today, while the Frankenmuth Woolen Mill isn't making socks anymore, they are using the same building, processing the wool the same way, on the same machinery that they did over 120 years ago. Matt and Abby Curtis own this centennial business now, and Abby walked us through how they process wool. When we receive the wool, we receive it, which is called right off the hoof or right after it's been shorn from the sheep. So there's a lot of hay and chaff and vegetable matter, basically anything that you're going to find in the farm field will be in this wool. And it's our job to clean it and make it into something that's really usable. So we wash the wool in bathtubs. We put about eight pounds in each bathtub and we switch it around with the pitchfork for about an hour in 180 degree water. After that, it loosens all the dirt and oil from the wool. and we dry the wool for about three to five days depending on the time of year. After that, the wool comes up to actually this room that we're standing in, and this room we call the carding room because the big machine behind me is the carding machine. And we put the wool in that machine and the machine combs all the fibers so that they're lying almost parallel. By the time the wool comes out of the machine, there's no hay, there's no dirt in the wool, and it's super clean and fluffy and soft. And the wool is truly soft, not like some wool sweaters you might be used to. That's because of the type of sheep that's sheared, sheep that grow fine wool. They purchase this dirty wool from wool brokers in bales of 500 pounds each to make their products. Customers also send their wool to the mill from across the nation to get processed. They've received hair from llamas, alpacas, camels, buffalo, and angora, to name a few, in addition to sheep's wool. The other thing that we do here at the Woolen Mill is that if somebody brought in wool from their own sheep, we could process it and then give it back to them and we guarantee that they get their own wool back after processing. So that's really important to people, whether they are raising a sheep for 4-H and they wanna have that wool um, because it's really important to them, or if they're a fiber artist and they raise the wool for the fiber, we guarantee their own fiber back after processing. Whether the wool is used for artwork or to have a piece of the sheep they raised, some customers seek ready-made wool merchandise from the mill. And as you can see, the Frankenmuth Woolen Mill creates a variety of products. We're taking wool and making it clean and making it into wool pillows, mattress pads, comforters, mattresses, dryer balls, just about anything you can think of that um, is for the bedroom that we can make with wool. Their products are available not only online, but in their shop downtown as well. There you'll often find people peeking through the shop's back windows to witness part of the process, one of their carding machines that hasn't moved from that spot since 1930. Now what many don't realize about this renewable resource is that wool also has many health benefits. You know, the health benefits of wool truly go on and on um, when we talk about um, arthritis and fibromyalgia and achy joints, that type of thing. Wool's really good for that, but it's also good because people that have allergies, we sell a lot of wool comforters to people with allergies because dust mites, bed bugs, all those things that will make people allergic when they sleep, wool repels them. From hoof to home, it's impressive how the Frankenmuth Woolen Mills team of under 20 process the wool today, just like it used to be done in the 1800s. There's something really special about working in this old building with machinery from 1870 and you're working in history and making new things and it's a, it's a cool business. There's something about this 
place that's sort of like it was in 1920. You know, people worked here for their whole lives and the same thing's happening now. I think that's really uh, an interesting thing in, in today's world. We all care. We care about what we do and we care about each other. If you are interested in getting a behind the scenes look at the Frankenmuth Woolen Mill, tours are available if you call ahead. Their contact information can be found at thewoolenmill.com. <laughs>